Hey, how's it going, everybody? I uh, so this is. I'm very happy to, to announce this is a episode one of Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. I am Randy Steadwell, and we are having、uh, a very special guest here named Stuart Beal, part of Beal Capital,、uh, Beal Property Management. I, I mean, he has his hands in pretty much anything real estate related. So we're going to get,、uh, you know, be able to see his perspective on where we are on the market, where we are everywhere. So we're just going to kind of get to it, see how we are.、Um, if you have any questions, if you have any,、uh, you know, comments or anything like that, put them in the comment. Down below. Let's keep everything positive, kind of going forward. All right. And Stuart, how are you doing? Welcome aboard. Yeah. Thanks for having me.、Uh, thanks for having me. Awesome. So yeah, I'm very happy to have you on、uh, on our show. We are,、uh, you know, we're glad to have you here while we're here.、Uh, so every time, every so often, you're going to see me kind of look off to the side, and it's because in the group,、uh, I can see where the The comments come. I can、okay. see who's saying it, but for some reason, because it's a group, they don't show. It just shows Facebook user. So,、oh, okay. um, but with that being said, I you know kind of wanted to get your story on、uh, like where where how you got started in this、uh, in real estate、uh, in general, and then、okay. you know, and then how did you. I、uh, get to where you are right now. So, but kind of let's start with your background and and how you got started in real estate. Yeah. Okay. Great. So,、uh, I grew up in a bit of an entrepreneurial family, and my father was a contractor, and he would bring business magazines home、uh, from、okay. work, and I started reading those business magazines, and、okay. this was before、uh, the internet, and it was before Bitcoin. And so,、okay. in these business magazines. The way people got wealthy is they invested in、uh, real estate.、Mm -hmm. I, I of course didn't have any money、uh, at the time, and so I,、uh, what I did was I started a lawn care and landscaping company when I was thirteen, fourteen, and just started mowing neighbors' lawns and、uh, you know doing you know stuff that you would do within walking distance of your house. But when I was right six. I formed a, a official company and、uh, got really serious about it. Started signing contracts, hiring employees, made it a real business. And when I was 19, I sold the lawn care and landscaping company for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And wow, yeah, the way I did it is I structured it kind of like a land contract in real estate, where the buyer paid me fifty thousand down, and then one thousand four hundred and eighty-three dollars. Uh, a month for for ten years, and so that was the the first big business deal I did when I was nineteen.、Uh, and then, wow, so when, yeah, go ahead. So, you know, I just kind of so you started a business when you were fifteen years old, a lawn care company. Okay. Yes. Now, mo most fifteen year olds are out there trying to get dates to the dances and and trying to you know get girls out there. And I'm not saying you weren't, but <laughs> but. You're out there just trying to make a hustle. Now I understand that because I was the same way. So the difference between what I was doing and what you did is you actually made a legit business out of it. I was just trying to earn extra money, and I was just hustle, always hustling. So yeah, so actually formulate. I, did your parents help you with that? And、uh, how did you know how to do all that at age fifteen? Yeah, so、uh, I came up in.、Uh... A bit of a unique background where my mom、uh, was a lawyer,、okay. so、uh, she wasn't focused on like business law. She worked for the、uh, <clears throat> United Auto Workers in union type law,、mm -hmm. uh, yep. but definitely、uh, I am blessed to come from a privileged background, not from a monetary、uh, point of view. I mean, I I'm you know I earn the money that I've made.、Uh, right. Uh, in terms of you know trading my hours、uh, for dollars in the beginning, but I came from a background where I had、uh, a good wealth of knowledge that I could bounce ideas off of, and、mm -hmm. for sure you know when it was time for me to write my first business contract,、uh, 
uh, she definitely helped me with it. Um, and I know everyone on the call doesn't have a, a lawyer as a mom, but there <laughs> are uh, certainly certainly ways uh, to reach out to your extended network and try to find uh, inexpensive or mentorships, yeah. inexpensive resources or mentorships to to, um, to 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 get on the same playing field mm -hmm. a, a, as I was. But no, I, I definitely. Uh, fully acknowledge that uh, my parents uh, set me up uh, pretty well right. success, and that's actually something I'm focusing on now to set my three daughters up for success um, and mm -hmm. you know uh, paying for uh, the, the Michigan College Fund so that they're not going to have to go into debt to pay for college and yeah. doing doing a lot of things uh, you know with real estate that can set them up for success so um, you know, basically, it was my like intensive hourly work with uh, some uh, certainly family help that got me got me started a little earlier than most people most people would. But the key to a small business, and the, one of the reasons I like real estate, mm -hmm. and the key to a small business is two things: uh, contracts and recurring revenue. And that's okay. why I really like lawn care, and that's why I really like real estate. Is because both of those are contractually based recurring revenue businesses where you know okay. that that money is coming in every month and that you can make right. investments because you know it's coming in you can make uh you can make uh plans you can hire employees you can buy equipment and and that's why i really like lawn care and that's why it transitioned me well to real estate is you sign a contract with someone you can trust that most of the time they're going to pay that they're going to hire you to mow lawns every year and that's why my business was much more valuable than the average lawn care business. I mean, you you talk to young people that have lawn care businesses. I say, show me your contracts. And they say, what? I, I got 100 customers, but I don't have a single contract. And I say, well, your business is worth nothing more than the value of your equipment uh, right. if you don't have contracts. And so I, I learned that very, very early. Um, and uh, had every one of my customers on a contract so that when I went to sell this business, I said, not only are you getting 400 names and email addresses of my mm -hmm. clients, you're buying contracts where they're committed to paying you money in the future. And that's why I was right. able to do it. Now, did you do a, for your contracts, did you do a seasonally contract, a yearly yep. contract? Yep. And then I started doing two year contracts too, eventually. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yep. So with that being said, like, how did you know so your obviously your parents were a big help with your knowledge on uh being an entrepreneur getting these contracts up and with your mom being a lawyer uh you know do, but no one can just hand you drive you know you have to have the drive to be able to go out there and do it okay action speaks louder than words right so you know were you at times out there i mean you're 15 16 years old you're out there doing this business at how many of your friends were out there you know doing mundane stuff you know kid teenager stuff things like that that were trying to coax you to away from that you know Did you get a lot of yeah. peer pressure yeah so i think one of the uh, keys to success in business is uh, the the stomach, the guts to make ambitious requests of people. I have okay. So there is a very high likelihood that uh, my neighbor is not going to hire a 12 year old or 13 year old to mow their lawn. Yeah. They can hire a 20 year old, a 25 year old, a professional. But yeah. like, let's just start out by making that ambitious request. Okay, hey, Mrs. Smith, can I mow your lawn? I'm 13. I want to uh, save up my money to buy a better lawnmower. Boom, she hires you. So that teaches you, okay, people like being asked ambitious requests mm -hmm. and they respond very favorably to them. So then next time you say, uh, hey, can I do this for you? Can I do that for you? And it just kind of snowballs into, you know, one of the major keys to business success and real estate success is to make ambitious requests. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, I had a lease renewing this week I asked the tenant, it was a commercial tenant, I asked the tenant to pay twice as much rent as they've been paying. That's an ambitious request and believe you yes, me, they thought, it was ambitious. they thought it was ambitious as well. But I, you know, I've been doing this now for 
25 years, 20 in real estate and five years in the lawn care business. And I just, have, I'm comfortable making ambitious requests. So I made that request right. and that started a negotiation uh, where of course I'm not gonna get them to pay for twice as much, but it's a starting point. We're gonna negotiate that. So that that was a lot right. of um, uh, of issues. And, 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 and read, read books, read magazines, and it'll get you comfortable with doing some of that stuff. Um, and I've talked to tons of friends and business associates and they say they're just not comfortable making those requests. Well, if you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe in asking yeah. for those things, they're not going to, they're not going to come. You know? Oh, 100%. I agree with you on that. And that's the, that's where taking action comes in, in play. And, you know, if you don't take action, you're never going to get comfortable enough to make those ambitious requests. You know, right? Uh, you know, when I'm talking to newly sellers, and or you know, I, I figure out why they're selling. I figure out all all this information. Well, you know, they're asking for we'll say a hundred thousand dollars, and and I have to give them the hey, I got to be down here at fifty. You know. Yep. And without them just hanging up on me, I gotta deliver the blow as as, as intellectual and uh, you know as possible. They may not go with me, but at the same point, I'm still building a relationship with them, and they may go with me if I keep following up with them. You know, so and it opens up the the negotiations, like you said. You know, so uh, now with that, you know, you started you know, very young, being ambitious. I, I did the very same thing. I was actually, any chance that uh, I had growing up, I was mowing lawns, raking leaves, shoveling sidewalks. I did everything, anything that I could do. My parents, we grew up lower middle class. And I say that, you know, um, but we had, my, my parents specifically said, hey, if we are required to put a roof over your head, three square meals a day, okay, and put clothes on the back. They don't have to be the best clothes, and they don't have to be the best meals, and it doesn't have to be the best roof. So that's all we're required of you. You want anything extra? There's a mower, there's a mower, there's a rake, I'll provide those for you. There's a shovel, I'll provide that for you. Go make money. Yeah, yeah, I would say I I would say I grew up uh, upper middle class. I grew up in uh, one of the best neighborhoods in Ann Arbor called Burns Park. And mm -hmm. Burns Park is filled with University of Michigan professors who right. don't don't want to mow their own lawn, but thought it was super cool <laughs> to hire the neighborhood kid to mow the lawn. Um, and I, I would agree with you. My parents didn't give me uh, spending money, but they did provide a lot of the basics and, and what I tell yep. young people is you're never going to have more cash than when you live with your parents, you know, because uh, right. they, pay for, they pay for the mortgage, the insurance, <laughs> utilities, the, the food. And so it's actually a really good time when you're a teenager to get started in business, to start earning money and saving money, because you're not going to be able to save more money ever. Than when you're a teenager or a, or a young early 20s if you're living with your parents you're going to save like 75 80 percent of your income whereas when you move out it's going to flip on you completely or you're going to be lucky yes. to save 20 percent of your income so that's what i say to, to young people when they ask me you know what i should be doing i say, I say <clears throat> should be working harder as a teenager than than uh than ever to try to to get a head start and that that's what i did is i I worked just really, really hard when I was a teenager and, and young, young person to, uh, right. to save money because what do you need to invest in real estate? This is a real estate show. People say, how do I get started in real estate? Well, I say the first way to do it is to save up money to invest in real yep. estate because what are you investing if you don't have the money to do it? And a lot of people read the, I can get started with no money down or I can borrow money mm -hmm. from uh, uh, high interest private lenders and there's like all these tricks I say skip all that just work your butt off for a year 18 months save up 25,000 and invest the right way you know into real estate with some with starting point 
and that's the that's really the best way to get started in real estate yeah i, I completely agree with you on that because there are so many times where you see all these okay i can get in with zero down well guess what if you get in at zero down and it it just so happens to be the exact wrong time wrong time and things tank well now you're upside down in those high interest loans you know yeah i've never yeah. i've never seen a zero down deal that's actually zero down yeah you might be able right. to buy it for zero but you're definitely gonna have to invest 50 grand into it in the first six months to make it work you know exactly so, 